G'day everyone, Matt Elder of Family Bricks here. In this video, we're going to look at the Ford Mustang set 10265 that was released in 2019. How does this pony car stack up? We'll also give a quick review in terms of build experience, value for money, displayability, and playability. Is the most interesting thing about this set not a Lego build? This video is brought to you by McCatsum Holiday Homes in Margate and Broadstairs. Great for a week's holiday or a weekend escape, being just over an hour east of London, UK. Treat yourself to amazing sunsets, a Lego wall, or great food. Visit www.macatsim.com and mention this YouTube video and we'll look after you. So here we have the Ford Mustang in the configuration which I like best. And we'll just go through a couple of little features that we have here. And of course, you're going to have a bonnet which opens up, revealing motor which you can change later. And that's the nice thing about this set. There's a lot of customizations you can do on it. And this is just the way which I like to have it. But we'll see some of the other ones. Um, We'll just take this roof off here, mainly so we can get access into it. That's what you'd expect inside the interior of the car there. The doors sit nice and flush and in there, so you can open them up. You know, pretty sort of a basic. It's got a, a basic steering wheel, which will actually turn the wheels there. Uh, more for display, sort of going backwards and forwards with the different drives and that. The front seats fold forward. The back seats will also fold forward, but easier just to access it from the back to be able to sort of see that there. And while we're at it there too, you can sort of see the boot also opens up. In this case, I've got the nose tank in there. Nice little spoiler on the back. And then also underneath, you have a little gear cog there, which will raise the back wheels, but nice and discreet there. So you can have it more as you rotate around just brings up that profile a little bit and then you can start turning it down you can just see in there the gray technic piece and the tan cog behind it and to get the profile on the roof that's actually a new two by eight slope piece there and within the set as well you've got a lot of nice these are all printed pieces the same with you know the stripe down the middle that's a printed piece as well so if we go along, we can strip it back to its more base configuration. Uh, first of all, just start off this rear spoiler, just will come off. Uh, obviously drop the back wheels down. These side exhausts will also pop off on both sides. Then if we take it around to the front, the lower section of the drop straight off. So then we're left with a car which looks a little bit more like that with all the different bits taken off so without the high performance sort of aspect to it. You know, still quite nice and then you can go through and just have it however you want. So strip back to its base bare minimum. These are some of the additional things that you can also have which I'll show in a minute. You have your additional engine block, a number of different license plates and tiles there for however you want to put them. And then as we saw, you know, the front lower part, some exhaust and also the rear spoiler. You do also have normally on there too some exhaust on the back. So if you are using these side ones, you know, you can pop them off, but for ease and convenience, just sort of leave it on there. So I'm just going to pop back on the way that I like it and show some of the other features. So under the hood, if you wanted to put this other performance engine on, it's not all that tricky to do. You just lift it up. There's your current engine detailing. You literally just take the blue one off there and then pop that one onto there like that. And then the top here as well. You can also just take that straight off because it only connects with like on two studs. And then that has a nice clearance to be able to open up. And then that's what it will look like with that inserted in there. For mine, just for display and things like that, I just think that that profile is a little bit too much. So much prefer it to be looking like that. So while this is a nice car and all that, the main reason I actually got this is because there's a lot of people who have gotten this and have made other different models and things. So I'm actually looking forward to more building out some of the other models and custom mocks that people have done because there's a wide variety of them. And it seems that there's a good selection of pieces here to begin with. So the build experience on the Mustang was pretty good. There's nothing too overtly complicated with it. 
if I was to say one thing, while the actual steering mechanism works, it is really kind of basic. I guess I'm just used to bigger style techniques and things. There's no sort of shock absorbers or anything within the wheels or anything like that. They just sit pretty hard there. So if you bounce it up and down, it is just going to bounce up and down. There's no sort of give in it. That said, it does have a nice little function with that rear raising of the back there, which is done quite well. There's a nice selection of building techniques and things in there, but nothing too tricky. So anyone should be able to do it in quite a reasonable amount of time. In terms of value for money at 119 pounds or 150 bucks US for the 1,472 pieces that you get with it, that's actually reasonably quite good value working at 8.2p or a bit under 11p as a price to part ratio, which is always good. As I made comment before, the real value for me is being able to take this and looking forward to doing it in other mocks and formats. The displayability on this model is really, really good as it looks like what it's meant to. And as we've sort of seen before with all the different parts and options, you've got different options on how you want to configure it to your own personal tastes and liking. And for me, I really like the fact that I don't have to have that big chunky engine sitting at the top of it, but you can still have enough of an aggressive profile and look to be something that you're pleased with. The one downside I would say is that these two window pieces here came in the same bag. So naturally in transit, they've gone through and they've bumped up against each other and they've scratched each other really badly, which I don't know why they do that because why not just put them in separate bags or something like that. So if you are building it, take note when you're getting out of the packet, if one is scratched up more than the other. And in this case, I know this one's got some nasty scratches on it. You can sort of see it there at the end of the fingertip. So, and there's some other ones all through the glass there. So compared to the front one, which wasn't as bad. So I just made sure I put the less scratch one in the front there. But they did the same thing with the Ghostbusters car, which is a recent release as well. So they're not learning from it. The playability on the set is also really good. Obviously you've got the main sort of doors, which all open up. And then the fact that you can sort of pop this off to get access to the interior. So you can do whatever you want there. Obviously the steering and the way that that works comes out good. And then also too, in the back here, being able to raise and lower the rear profile. So lots there for kids to be able to go through and have a bit of fun with. And even on the roof there, you've got a little rear view mirror with a sticker. So showing what car would be in the back. The instruction book is as what you'd expect with any sort of Lego creator type set. And it's nice in the front, they do actually have a fair bit on the actual history of the car and how it's sort of gone. And then also goes into the fact that most of them are sort of red, whereas obviously the model's blue. Uh, a few bits and pieces on the new pieces and the functions that they have there before then heading into the six bag build which then the main part of it goes for you know about 300 odd steps to get the base of the car and then you got another 46 or so to add on all the engines and the other bits and pieces. The box is pretty standard for what you'd expect, you know, the front of the car there, the top has just got you know all the different pieces, the one to one side another glory shot and then on the back you know the car in sort of a, a real workshop and then just showing some of the bits that you can add on to it how it opens you know the gear mechanism on the back and then the engine detail so going over the one page summary give the build experience 80 percent along with value for money and playability they're all pretty solid and good aspects to them and the displayability gives it a little bit higher marks with 90 percent because of the way that you can customize it and it does look like what it's meant to the target market is obviously for fans of big cars and bigger system creator type builds it's a really solid model it looks great and there's a good array of functions in terms of doors opening raising and lowering the back and also too there's a great library of mocks online that other people have created. The cons with it is that the mechanics are a little bit basic when you compare it with some other technic aspects. This gives an overall respectable 83% average. It's a really well put together set, but not really my cup of tea. I'm more excited by the other online fan builds that I'm really keen to try out. If it wasn't for these other fan mock builds, I probably wouldn't have purchased it. If muscle cars are your thing, you're really going to enjoy this set. If you've enjoyed and or gotten something out of this video, then hit that thumbs up button and or consider subscribing. Is this a set that's on your radar or do you already own the set? Sound off in the comments below. To see other alternative builds of this car, check out these videos. To see other LEGO mocks, check out this video. Otherwise this video might be of interest. Thanks for watching and that's it from us here at Family Bricks. Until next time when we talk about all things LEGO and lifestyle.